Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats, and today I'm reviewing this, which is the Antelope Audio Edge Duo microphone. Now, this microphone is a modeling microphone. It's a single capsule, but it comes with a dual membrane. So basically what's happening is this capsule from this microphone is recording from the front and the back of the microphone. And what you can then do in software is to then move around the polar pattern and choose different microphones to get the sound you want. Now, in the box you get a pop filter, which attaches to this really sturdy shock mount. Now, because it's a dual capsule modeling mic, you get a, a special lead that comes, that comes with the microphone. You plug into the microphone that splits off into two XLRs. So you record into two channels of your interface or into two different preamps. So let's record some guitar parts and then we're gonna have a look at the software and go through some different microphones. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And also click on the little bell button, which will inform you of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. Okay, so first of all, what we've got with this plugin is the microphone that we recorded it with, which was the Edge Duo. So if I click here, I can choose between uh, a Sony C800 emulation, a FET47, a U67, a U87, a 4038, and an M103. And the list just goes down and on and on and on. So first of all, let's start with the Edge Duo microphone. And this is with the emulations turned off. So what we can do with this is to change the polar patterns. So let me play the, the first guitar part. Now I can take it from everything from Omni, cardioid, super cardioid, hyper cardioid, then to figure of eight. So that's quite an amazing thing to do, to be able to choose the polar pattern after it's been recorded. But let's just stick it back in cardioid to start with. So let's go through a couple of different microphones. That's a C800. It's a 47 FET. A U67. U87. Okay, let's go down to the Berlin 57. So with this one, we've got a variable pattern as well. So let's start off on Omni. And let's choose the next guitar part. So this guitar part's got a really percussive part where I'm slapping the guitar. So if you listen to it in Omni, and now I'm gonna move it up to Cardioid and have a listen to the slaps. And back again. So I think that's a great way of being able to tailor the sound even before you're getting to EQ. And by the way, what I'm doing here, I'm playing everything back flat. It hasn't got any EQ on it. Let's choose a different mic. Let's choose the C12. So that's got a really nice top end. Try and figure out. 
extra 414. Now 414, you can change the polar pattern, so let's try that. Sounds great. Now let's try the Berlin V563. Now with this one, you can't actually change any of the polar pans because I guess on that microphone, it's fixed. Then we've got the EV. Let's try the last guitar part here. SM7B. So I'm listening on headphones and you can really hear the difference between all the different microphones. Let's try the 87 again. See, I really like the figure of eight with the 87. Now a microphone that's gonna sound very different is the 4038, let's try that. Try the C12 again. So, what are my thoughts on this? I think it's amazing. I think it's a it's a great sounding microphone. First of all, even without the emulations and the quality of the components it comes with, like the uh, the cradle and the pop filter, are just really really well built. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats, and I'll see you then. Cheers.